What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for February 5th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for today, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off today by talking about the recently announced february online competition for pokemon ultra sun and pokemon ultra moon now this is coming from the official pokemon global link website i'm gonna have this website linked in the description below just in case you want to check it out for yourself now jumping into the article it says battle using the moon series regulations in the 2019 international challenge february online competition. The next online competition featuring the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games gives players a chance to earn shiny Tapu Bubu, which will be the first time this shiny Tapu Bubu will be available currently in the game. As of right now, you cannot make any of the Tapus appear shiny in game. So again, this is epic. And also, this is going to grant players some championship points if they rank high enough and also offers an opportunity to compete using the Moon series regular that are in play during a portion of the 2019 video game championship series in the 2019 international championship february online competition trainers create a team using pokemon from the national decks pokemon number one bulbasaur all the way through 807 which is mel metal with the exception of mythical pokemon so you can't use mel metal and ash greninja which is kind of a bummer you can't use ash greninja but you can't use mega pokemon anyway and i'm gonna go into to that you also only will be able to include two of the most powerful legendary pokemon on your team see the pokemon vgc 2019 moon series distribution regulations for a complete list of eligible pokemon the competition features double battles with teams of four to six pokemon of which the four will compete in each match all pokemon must have a black clover icon meaning that they were caught or hatched in pokemon sun pokemon moon Pokemon Ultra Sun or Pokemon Ultra Moon. You cannot bring Pokemon from other games to compete in this online competition. Now, you can also bring in Pokemon obtained during events from these games as well. All Pokemon will be set to level 50 for the duration of the battle. Z moves are permitted, but Ultra Necrozma Z, the Blue Orb, the Red Orb, and Mega Stones may not be used. Other items are available, but trainers may not have duplicate items in their battle team and you can also use the special berries that are currently available in mystery gift via the nintendo network now if you don't know what i'm talking about i did a video on it a while back if you want to check that out i'm gonna have a card up on top there will be a seven minute player clock with a 45 second turns all qualifying participants in the 2019 international challenge of february competition will receive shiny tapu boo boo again which is dope the top players will also receive championship points which contribute towards earning an invitation to the 2019 pokemon world championship players must complete at least three battles to qualify again you must complete at least three battles to get your shiny tapu boo boo complete three battles win lose a draw just complete more than three sometimes like make sure you're getting that shiny you don't want to participate in this event and then end up not getting the shiny because you did one battle and then one battle you thought you completed but didn't or whatever the case may be make sure three win loser draw are registered for the reward now the registration for the 2019 international challenge of february online competition takes place on thursday february 14th valentine's day through thursday a week after february 21st now i am going to do a video on valentine's day on the registration part on how to register so make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on if you want to be notified on valentine's day the 14th once the registration starts opening so you can make sure you got participate in this event in order to get your shiny tapu boo boo if that's why you want to participate it says the competition goes from friday february 22nd to sunday february 24th again i am going to do a video on that friday the 22nd letting 
letting you know that the battles have started. You can do your battles. I'm gonna let you know what team I'm gonna use, battle strategies and all that. I'm gonna go over that on the 22nd. So again, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified once that video drops. It says trainers will be limited to 15 battles per day with unplayed battles carrying over to the next day. All trainers will need a Pokemon Trainer Club account, a wireless internet connection, and their own copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon video game with a party of eligible Pokemon. Now do note that you cannot use a Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon game. It has to be Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. It says download the Pokemon VGC 2019 complete list of eligible Pokemon and start practicing today. Good luck trainers. So again, I'm in love. I love that the fact that the Pokemon company is taking Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon very seriously. Kind of drip feeding us these shiny topples in the process, but also giving us a platform so we can go compete with these new rules in 2019. I think it's pretty cool. Also throwing in the shiny topple as a reward. Again, hardcore Pokemon VGC players are going to play anyway for the championship points. If you're not one of those players and just jumping in for the shiny topple boo boo, again, just jump in, create a team, play three matches, jump out and get your shiny top. Now, let me know your thoughts on this whole competition and the requirements and stuff like that in the comment section below. Now, moving on to another huge, big news story today, Niantic just added shiny Meltan into Pokemon Go. Now, this is coming from PokemonGoLive.com, the official Pokemon Go news website. It says, we have exciting news. The shiny version of the mythical Pokemon Meltan has been discovered just in time to celebrate the Lunar New Year, the shiny version of Meltan will appear for a limited time. A mythical Pokemon, the mysterious and rare Meltan, only appears when a mystery box is open. If you're lucky, you may encounter shiny Meltan when you open the mystery box from February 5th, which is today, until March 4th, which is a month from now, during this special event. That time, you may have to wait before you can open the mystery box again will be reduced to three days so seven days is usually the time we have to wait for that mystery box to open they lowered it down to three days which is crazy cool and crazy good because that gives us more chance to grind to get the shiny but also to get melmetal if you haven't gotten them yet also joe murray did the math if you are able to open a mystery box today you have 10 chances to open up the mystery box until march 4th in order to get melmetal what I would do is make sure every day you log in, see if you can open that bitch and, and hunt for Meltan as soon as you can. I said Meltan or Melmetal, I'm getting them confused, but it's just pretty cool. Now, do note that the wording of this event says that the shiny version of Meltan will appear for a limited time. Now, as you guys know, shiny versions come out in Pokemon Go, they stay out, meaning that you can today catch a shiny Psyduck, catch a shiny Cubone, catch a shiny Ponytop. With Meltan, we're unsure if we're going to be able to catch Meltan a shiny again outside of this event. What I think is maybe what they would do is have it limited to this because Meltan is a mythical Pokemon and they probably want to keep that shiny version exclusive to the people that participate early. I don't know. It's kind of weird that wording, which again, it kind of makes sense. Meltan is a mythical Pokemon. The fact that there is millions upon millions of Meltan that we could potentially catch is already kind of weird. So the fact that they're making this shiny version be limited to this month? I'll take it. It is kind of weird. Also, do note that this is the first time a mythical Pokemon is being released in its shiny form inside of Pokemon Go, which is kudos to Niantic for doing that. That's pretty cool. Now, that's going to be it for the news, guys. I think this video is going on way longer than it needs to, but we had big news today. Let me know your thoughts on everything we went over from shiny Meltan being released inside of Pokemon Go. Let me know your thoughts on that. Also, this Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon February online competition that is giving us shiny Tapu Boo Boo. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. Are you hype? Are you going to dust off the O3DS to participate? I know I am. <laughs> For shiny Tapu Boo Boo, it is going to be worth it. I did redeem my Pokemon Bank, so I am going to catch shiny Tapu Boo Boo. Make sure I get a competitive one that's, you know, with a good nature and then throw it into the bank. Hopefully, we get Pokemon Bank on the Switch so 
so Gen 8 rolls around, I could just throw all these Pokemon into that Gen 8 game. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we covered today in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow on another episode of Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.